from Southern Couture, and today I am back again to show you a fun little roundup of gifts if you have any last minute gifts that you need to grab for Father's Day. So I did this for Mother's Day, had a lot of fun with it, selecting different gifts for hobbies and interests of the moms and women in your life. So I wanted to do the same for those dads that are just as important and hopefully help you guys out. So thank you today, Spring for um, helping us and sending these little goodies so I could show them to y'all and I hope they'll be a blessing and help to you. Um, below in the description, you will find a link to where you could get all of these items and more from Dayspring. I'll have them listed below and also to the blog post um, if you're wanting to see more pictures of them and more details like that. So first things first, if you have um, a dad in your life who I'm sure all dads pretty much love having coffee or um, you know, some kind of hot beverage. This is just a really nice mug that they have over there. I really liked it because the dad font on it is very simple. It's um, not too flashy, um, that it's, you know, it's still a nice, very nice, um, clean look to it. And the back has this little modern touch that says the Lord directs the steps of the godly, Psalm 37, 23 in this font. It is also, um, I want to say, that it's also, yes, microwave safe and dishwasher safe. Um, but I liked the font on it because it was simple and masculine and not something really flashy. Um, just a nice little mug, very matte finish, it's not shiny. Um, so, so really a good gift if you're looking for something for someone, um, you just need a little bit more of something or you need something um, smaller, this is a great option. Always have a mug, right? You can't go wrong with that. Um, the other one that I really like are these framed pictures. And um, they have a whole collection of different ones. So you gotta go and check out the rest of them depending on the hobby or interest of the dad, your son, your brother, whoever that you wanna get one for, grandfather. Um, this is the Fishers of Men. So, I'm going to try to maybe just turn it sideways. I thought I might have the camera where we could see the whole thing, and unfortunately we can't, so I apologize. But here it is sideways, um, and head to the blog, and you'll be able to see a better picture of it. But um, you can see how the whole thing looks, but I'll turn it this way now so you can see it a little bit more up close. And it just says, you know, Fishers of Men, and it has this... Um, it's almost like these original drawing plans or sketches, and they made it to where it looks like for um, hooks and bait. And um, just really fun if you have someone um, that likes fishing, that'll kind of sh hopefully show it to you a little bit better so you can see it. Um, it's a framed, it has this look on the back of the, um, the picture that gives it that texture like here you can see it almost looks like the paper's been old and wrinkled and folded um, with these little drawing plans so that's so fun um, it's something different um, that would be great in an office or a study for um, a man that loves fishing they have other ones for like um, I believe musical um, if they are into music and um, a musician, different things for different hobbies. I just thought this Fishers of Men one was really cool. I love the pattern and just the whole thing's really cute. So you can check out their whole collection of those. And then one other thing that is really cool is this. I found this, it's a leather journal. Um, if you have a dad that loves, like my grandfather um, is had, uh, was a minister for many, many years and you know would write notes and jot down things for sermons and studies on Revelation, things like that. And so this would have been nice for something like that for him to have, um, for any kind of note taking. It is a superb quality uh, journal and it comes in this bag. It's a canvas bag um, with the blue pull strap there. And down here it says to step outside and reach within, to explore and to create, to inspire all to live intentionally and leave their mark. And it has almost like a wax, but it's not like sticky, but like, you know, kind of painted onto with the bottom of it. So it's really fun, a different texture there. And then the drawstring canvas bag. And then you have this really gorgeous journal. Um, they do have different colors, I believe, but this is the one that I saw that Dayspring had on their site, which was, I think it's called Saddle. Um, but it's a genuine leather journal, very nice quality. We're not talking about just any little journal. Um, it's very nice. You can smell the genuine leather when you open it. Um, so you've got this little strap here that comes through that's leather to keep it closed. It has this um, impression of the cross that's marked into it. And then you have your journal, 
And the journal is lined, lined pages, very nice, kind of a cream color. You got that same quote that was on the bag that's in here in the back of it. And then on the back, um, you'll see there's stitching as well. And then it's got this like metal um, little coin or button type thing that's pushed into it with um, the company's logo. But it just gives it a nice rustic um, masculine feel to it, which I really love. I haven't seen like, you know, masculine journals um, for Bibles, uh, note taking, and um, that kind of thing, in a long time that I really liked, and I love this one. Um, one thing that I didn't even mention right here, but it even has like this stitching that just kind of um, probably to keep everything reinforced with this strap here, but it gives another little rustic touch to it. Very nice quality. I love this journal, um, even for me, but I do think it's very nice and masculine um, for you know dads especially. Okay, and then one thing I wanna show you, you can't talk about Dayspring without talking about cards, and so make sure while you're over there, go ahead and just add a few little cards in your um, cart because they always have an inspirational message and scripture and things like that that you can't always find when you go to the store. And this card happens to be part of their Thomas Kincaid Painter of Light Collection, which I really love. Um, it has a beautiful foiled um, font on here with a scripture at the bottom. Just really nice quality. So there are just a couple little ideas for you depending on hobbies and interests and um, if you need something small or larger. I loved these ideas. I hope you guys will love them too. Let me know down below if you, um, you know, see something you like that you think your dad or your husband would love. And um, don't forget all the links are down below where you could check out more of the um, the items that are like in this um, framed collection or where you could find these as well. So I hope you'll have a wonderful Father's Day and to all the men out there, happy Father's Day and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.